Ranger Caitlin, and welcome to Shenandoah National Park. How many of you have ever seen a possum? I've seen them in my yard at home. I've seen them along roadsides. I've seen them in the park here at Shenandoah. But I don't really know what this animal does. What is its job? What is its purpose? Other than making some of us maybe a little, a little uncomfortable by their very smile, toothy smiles. There are a lot of myths out there about what possums are and what they do. So before we go through what we already know about possums, write in the comments what you think you know about possums already. Or do you have a question about possums? What's something that you've always wondered about them, if you've ever wondered about possums before? Give these following statements a thumbs up or a thumbs down on whether or not you think they're true. Possums are menacing and will attack humans. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs down. Possums are, are more of a prey animal. So if they come into what they think is a predator, they may hiss to try to scare you away. But what they're going to do is they're either going to remove themselves from the situation, like I do, they're going to run away, or they may faint as well or play possum. Next one. Possums carry rabies. Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs down. Possums are very unlikely to carry rabies. Wild dogs that you may encounter are eight times more likely to have rabies than possums are. Next one. Possums have more teeth than humans do. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Possums do have more teeth than humans. They have about 50 little teeth all throughout their jaw lines. Sharp little teeth too. They have one of the smile, the teethiest smiles in North America. The next statement. Possums sleep hanging upside down by their tail. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm sorry, Disney has led you astray. Possums do not sleep by hanging by their tails at night. They're actually den creatures. They will find or make, but usually they find a, a den already established under trees or in the rocks, and that's where they'll spend their time sleeping and hiding away. They do have that uh, prehensile tail, uh, then they can use it to carry things like scientists and people have seen possums carry like sticks or grass to their bed site, to, to their den site to make their beds a little better, a little softer, but not necessarily hanging from a tree to sleep. And the last fact, possums are unusual. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, I guess that one's kind of more of a, a personal opinion about whether you think possums are unusual or not. Even with their peculiar looks, possums with their great sense of smell and touch have, been, have lived here for millions of years. In 1608, Captain John Smith wrote in his notes, an opossum hath a head like a swine and a tail like a rat and is the bigness of a cat. Under her belly she hath a bag, where she lodgeth, carrieth, and suckleth her young. Captain John Smith took the word opossum, it's actually an indigenous word, just meaning white animal. It can have the O in front of it or not, it's kind of colloquial depending on where you're from. For over 400 years, scientists have been studying and looking at the possum, but they believe they've actually been around for millions of years. Individually, their adaptions on this animal doesn't seem too, uh, too grand. But when all added together, it makes for a compact little creature. You look at my little finger puppet here, or the possum skull that I have in my hand here. You can see that they have a very pointed snout. Their sense of smell is very strong. 
they can do better at finding food in a maze and remembering where food is at better than cats, rats, mice, and rabbits. They have a great sense of smell. Their ears, when seen in a photo, are often bare skin, just like their tail as well. When you look at a map of where possums live, you'll see and notice that they don't tend to live in the very cold areas because of that bare skin on the tail and ears. If you do see a possum with ear pieces missing or a tail piece missing, or maybe even some toes, it's because of frostbite. They do not grow a winter pelt or grow additional fur either. So what they have is what they keep with them. And surprisingly, it's very soft. Now there is some under fur that you, you can see when you open up the, the, the fur to get closer to it. So it is kind of similar to some dogs. Um, however, they do not grow anymore. So during the colder months, it's very hard for them to stay warm. The possums can be anywhere between 20 to 24 inches in length. That's including from their, their tip of their nose all the way down to their scaly tail that they have. They can be anywhere between 4 to 12 pounds. So about the same size of a house cat that you may have as a pet at home. The possum is North America's only marsupial. Think, meaning that their young are, live in the mother's pouch. Now baby possums are actually born outside of the pouch and they're born so small that you can fit a large amount of them, like 20 of them in one tablespoon. That's how tiny they are when they're born. They have, they have a very short de gestation period, only 12 to 13 days. And after they're born, outside of the possum, the babies crawl up the mom's tummy and enter into the pouch. That's where they attach to a nipple. And they'll be there for about three to four months till they're big enough to climb out on top of mom. And you often will see photos of baby possums being carried around on mom. And they'll hang out with mom anywhere between six to eight months. And then they're typically old enough to survive on their own after that point. This guy's still a little young. We're gonna go ahead and keep him safe in the pouch for now. When we look at all the individual adaptations of the possum, it kind of creates this very compact little creature. They only live to be two to four years old in the wild. However, they've been surviving for millions of years. They can be a benefit in your backyard. They're a part of the ecosystem. However, they also can be a nuisance. Their nose, being so strong, leads them to where food is. So if you happen to live in bear country, you already should be doing this. But to keep possums out of your yard and out of your garbage or trash, make sure they're in tight, airtight containers or bear-proof containers like if you're living around here at Shenandoah National Park. If you have any dog food, chicken food, anything like that, store those in secure containers and out of reach, out of little possum hands. And hopefully that will help deter them from getting into those areas. Possums are opportunistic. They will eat just about anything wherever they can. So they'll eat snakes, toads, fungus, cockroaches, rats, carrion, dead stuff, insects. Uh, they eat just about anything. Possums are nature's little sanitation workers, so they can help keep your yard a little clean. They are also prey in the ecosystem. Bobcats, foxes, coyotes, owls, birds of prey. They will all prey on possums when they can. They are part of the ecosystem here at Shenandoah and in your yard. One of the things some people may have heard is that possums eat ticks. Kind of another benefit to maybe having them around as well. Now ticks aren't necessarily part of their diet. It's just kind of a byproduct of something that they do. Possums clean themselves as often as your house cat does. They clean themselves quite often 
and if they find a tick on them while they're cleaning, they go ahead and eat it. In a study, it showed that 90% of the ticks that were on possums were killed. And that's just because they like to stay clean. Surprisingly, whenever I see a possum, they look kind of scratchy and scrang, like, they look dirty. I'll, I'll say that. They don't look like they'd be soft and clean. But surprisingly, their pelt is with, because of how often they clean themselves. The Virginia or North American possum does have a purpose in the ecosystem. They do have a job. As little sanita sanitation workers, as well as prey for other animals throughout the park. Here at Shenandoah National Park, the possum has the opportunity and a place to thrive as predator and prey in the ecosystem. They're doing their job. They can be a nuisance in your backyard if they're not taken care of properly. Well, if things aren't taken care of properly. Many states do consider them to be a nuisance, but here at Shenandoah, they're just part of the park. They're part of what's here. And so Shenandoah National Park and other national parks can't be here without visitors like you, visiting the parks and supporting them. So thank you for doing your part in the ecosystem too. Share this video if you think you've learned something new about possums. And please check out our website to learn more about Shenandoah National Park. You know, because of this program, I've been following a lot of possum Facebook pages. <laughs>